I'm Fast Lawyer, Mazakalus Rift Reviews. Today we're going to do a Let's Play, Apollo 11 VR, a free-to-play game on the Steam Store. I will put a link on my video where you can download this game. I believe this game is for the Valve Index, HTC Vive, and the Oculus Rift. And this is basically the experience, as you can see, we're inside the Apollo 11 and I don't know which module this is this might be the lunar module if I'm not mistaken but I might be mistaken so who knows um, I'm looking at I'm looking out through the window and at first I thought this was Earth but from the store page video it seems to be the moon and you can see some there's some craters so <laughs> definitely the the visual is not very good you can't even tell what it is but i believe it is the moon just by looking at the craters but it's so so bad quality you can't even tell what you're looking at and really the first time i saw this i thought it was Earth, but no this is the moon it's just really fuzzy, really bad quality. Again, I'm on 1060 GTX. I don't know if there's maybe higher resolution possible, better. But I would, I would think these are the same textures regardless of, of what your system specs are. So it just doesn't look really good. And uh, anyways, this is the inside of the module. You cannot interact with anything. I'm standing up because if I was seated down, I wouldn't be correct placed here. I didn't find any way to reset my position. Um, you cannot touch anything at all. These numbers here are static. They don't move. So they, you lose the illusion of being here really quick with that. Uh, there's this radio going on. There's mostly static most of the time. Every now and then you'll hear something. Um, but it's unknown whether you're actually going anywhere. It seems like you're just uh, rotating around the moon. It doesn't seem like you're actually going anywhere, so I believe this is just an endless loop of you going around the moon and mostly this is just to see the interior of this Apollo 11 module which looks okay. It doesn't look great. Um, like I said, these are static. Cannot interact with anything uh, anything at all. Um, you have these avatar hands that are mismatched I don't know why, there's red and blue. And then you can see your Oculus Rift touch controllers in there. Again, I don't know why, this is a bad use of, of Avatar hand models. It's almost better not to have anything than to have this, where you can't even interact with anything at all. Um, I mean, it's not the worst. I mean, you get to see the inside of the module, you know, generally what it looks like. And other than actually being at the Smithsonian and looking at it, this is probably the, the next best thing. So, you know, it's, it's not bad. I, I don't want to wreck it too much and say this is no value. It has some educational value. And if you look at, look at this app from a strictly academic or, uh, you know, from a strictly academic viewpoint, you know, or educational viewpoint, discovery viewpoint then you know it's not too bad if you know okay, right. this is somewhat better than looking at photos I guess <laughs> but again the problem is at least on my attention for GTX it just seems a little blurry and it's not as sharp and crisp and the textures I and again this won't matter what system you're on or how good your rig is the textures are not great um, not the worst, not the worst textures I've seen, uh, but definitely could have better quality. Obviously it's very detailed, so that's good. This is obviously took a lot of time to replicate in VR. So kudos to the dev for working on that. But other than seeing the inside and having a cockpit view, there's really no point to this app because it doesn't really, really feel like you're, uh, in orbit around the, the moon. Um, and then you can do this by the way. <laughs> Jim Carrey style, just take your head and your hands <laughs> out of the window for, for no reason. Are we there yet? <laughs> Alrighty then. So, yeah. You can do that. 
You can look around, you know, look around different windows, and that's it. There's nothing else to this app that I know of. Maybe at some point it does something, but it seems to be an endless loop with just radio chatter to not make it too silent every now and then. But yeah, this is the whole game. I don't know whether to recommend this game or not. I'm going to be very generous and give it a 5 out of 10. <laughs> I think there's some educational merit or value, some academic value here, but as far as entertainment, there's really not unless you're just really interested in the Apollo 11. So it might be worth checking out in that case, although there's, there's better simulations in VR than this. Uh, there's... Uh, well, there's a similarly named app that's a paid app that's a lot better than this. So, but you know, this is free. It has some values. So I'm gonna give it a five out of 10. I'm gonna put a link in my video. Thank you, I'm Fast Lawyer. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.